Hi friends, in this video we will discuss how we can install SAP GUI 8.0. I have already made videos how to install SAP GUI 7.4.0 and how to install SAP GUI 7.6.0 in less than 10 minutes. But in this video we will discuss how we can install SAP GUI 8.0 that's the latest version in less than 10 minutes. As I have already made a video on 740 and 760 versions, so many student was requesting to make a video tutorial video like how to install SAP GUI 8.0. So I'm going to discuss that in this video. So what you need to do in the first pinned command, you will see a download SAP GUI download link. So you need to go to this video's first pinned command and just click on that first pinned command. So once you will click on that first pinned command, you will redirect to this Google Drive access request. So in that message, you can just send, hi, please share. So you just send, hi, please share. GUI. So up, you just need to send that message. So our team will just share you that SAP GUI setup. So just click on request access. So just wait, just wait for some time. Our team will revert you and we will send that setup file to you. So after some time, you will receive a mail on that same email, you will receive a mail. Either you will receive a mail or you can directly redirect to this page like you can download from here. So just click on that or you can also check in your email inbox. So either you will directly able to download that you will directly redirect to this page or you will receive an email. So you can just check that. So just download, just click on download, just click on download anyway. Now it's starting downloading. It's just a hundred MB file. So it will take hardly one minute. Now it's done. So just click on that. And it's starting installing. So you can see here SAP front end installation self extractor. So it's extracting and then it will start installing. You can't see that uh, in your uh, recording that pop-up message just came like do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device so just give permission just select yes now it start now it started installing so it will take some more one or two minute just click on next and here you can see this checkbox here so just select that checkbox and just click on next. You can see here this item will be installed. So just click on next. So it's taking 
some one or two more minutes So it's totally depend on your uh, internet connectivity speed. If its speed is good, it will take less time. But if its speed is not that much good, so it will take more time. So just click on close. Now just minimize that. Now you can see on your desktop SAP logon just came. So you can simply double click on that. So this is you can see 800 final release SAP logon 800. So that's the latest version. And in your case, you will not see any server as I have already have my database data center. So it's showing that much of server, but in your case, it will not show. So like uh, for practice, you have to take server on rent user ID. You have to take on rent. So how you can take server on rent? You can see my number, my WhatsApp number in description box. So you can directly DM me on my WhatsApp number. My team will definitely uh, proceed with you and you can ask for user ID like uh, what's the charges for that. So you can ask and you can take server on rent. So for all modules, it's available like ABAP, MM, SD, FICO, PPQM or Cloud, Ariba success factor or for all the modules server access is available okay and that sap gui is common like it's not going to be the different like for mm it uh, it will not be different it will not different for fico it will not different for abap so gui is going to be same okay so what you need to do after taking server access on rand let's suppose you are taking from me itself so what you need to do, I will send you the credentials. So how you are going to add those credentials? Let's see. So you just need to click on this new, just go to connection and here just click on next and here itself just select custom application server and here itself just give description. So let me give a description here S4HANA 2023 system id so whatever we are going to provide to you that you need to give here so system id is uh, a4h instant 23 sap router string is not required it's just required in mac but for windows it's not required and we are seeing complete procedure for windows so for windows it's not required application server like 122.176 so whatever we are going to provide you need to uh, give that details okay if you will try that it will not work so that you have to take on rent first after giving all these details whatever we are going to provide to you just click on next next and finish so now like that you can do. So just double click on that and here you can give your user ID and password. So I'm just giving my user ID and password here. Hit enter. So that's a screen. Okay. So like that you can install SAP GUI. So if you are able to install SAP GUI, GUI 
double zero with the help of that video please like this video and share in your sap circle and if you are facing any issue or any uh, issue or anything you are facing you can write down in the comment section i will definitely reply that so thank you guys thanks a lot may god bless you all